Ever wondered how big creators like Andy Elliott, Brandon Carter, and Grant Cardona are making your house in a day with Instagram? In this video, I'm going to show you all the dark secrets that influencers don't want you to know about how to use stories. Stick around to the end where I'll show you exactly how to make money from your stories and use it to monetize. All right, let's dive right into Instagram stories. Stories are a great way to grow a personal brand and also connect with your potential customers. Super important that you're using stories. It provides that little behind the scenes look, shows what you do on a daily basis and that you're not just an NPC, uh, that you do have a life. So I post a lot of my stories. I post somewhere from eight to 12 times a day. You don't have to go that crazy, uh, but I would recommend posting a few times a day. Always make sure you have something on your story because if someone looks at your account, Typically, the first thing they're going to do is hit on your story, see what's going on, see what you're up to right now. So super important that you keep those stories up to date. Taking photos, super important as well. So when you're taking those photos, um, I recommend you have an iPhone. If you haven't grown up yet, you should probably grow up, be a man, buy an iPhone. They're a little more expensive. I get it, but don't be cheap. Uh, we don't like cheap stuff. Cheap stuff breaks. Cheap stuff's cheap. Uh, cheap quality. So make sure that you have an Apple phone if you're going to be trying to grow a personal brand. It's going to help you out tremendously. Uh, if you are one of those people on Android, though, make sure that your Android has good quality. Make sure whatever you have, you have supreme quality. Uh, iPhone takes amazing quality photos and videos. So I uh, highly recommend you get the latest iPhone. Uh, it's going to be you know a great investment. Probably the best investment that I've had because I can post that content right now. I'm recording on a phone. If you can't tell, I have a Mac. I'm a Mac guy. So uh, and you know obviously you can see it behind me as well, but. Having something that integrates with my computer and with my phone works super well for me. Uh, personally, I like Apple. I think Apple is great. So if you have that, take those photos using your phone. Use the best quality app to take your photos, meaning do not take your Instagram stories inside the Instagram app. Use the Apple Photos app. Take it with your camera. Uh, take that photo, swipe up on it. It'll say four by three, switch it to 16 by nine. You're gonna have the perfect size for your story, everything like that. So it'll turn out beautiful. Editing photos. There's a few different ways to edit photos here. Uh, Apple photos is a great way to do it. You can do it while you're taking a picture, after you're taking a picture. So if you do it while you're taking the photo, you're just gonna tap on the screen, drag down on the little uh, sun sunshine next to the focus box. If you're gonna do it after, you can just swipe up, go to the edit tool, uh, and then hit exposure. So you can see in there, there's gonna be a little button that says exposure on the bottom. Uh, just swipe it to the right so the number gets negative. You'll see that it'll get slightly darker. Super crucial to do this so that you can have super high quality photos. Auto does not work on iPhone in my opinion. I hate the quality of auto, so I wouldn't use auto. I just turn the exposure down a little bit, contrast up a little bit, uh, and then the next two down slightly, and that works phenomenal. Uh, I use Lightroom for all my stories, so I just take my photo, throw it into Lightroom. Uh, I have Adobe Premium, so I can you know edit whatever I want there, but uh, I usually go in, turn the exposure down, contrast up slightly, highlights down. So usually exposure is gonna be down by like 0.7, uh, contrast up by probably 20, highlights down by 20, shadows down by 10. Uh, works really well for me. Have a little bit more information here, I won't go super in depth on this, but make sure you darken your photos. Um, and then after that, I typically like to add text to my stories to make it actually have a message to bring value to my people, just to give off my thoughts. Super easy, don't overcomplicate it. I typically add a few lines of text. You can see it over here on the left that obviously, you know, in this one I said disconnected from your business is hard, da da da. You can see that I have a story or some sort of message that I'm delivering with that. Uh, always end with a bang, always start with a bang. You gotta hook those audience in. Three to six lines is perfect. If it's too long, people aren't gonna read it. If it's you know short, too short, people are gonna skip it fast. The goal is to increase watch time on any platform. So uh, you wanna make sure that you can increase that watch time. The longer people stay on the platform, the better your watch time is gonna be. Uh, and more ads the platform can show, so they're gonna favor your video or photo over the other ones. So uh, ideally, this lifestyle footage would contain you. Doesn't have to, but in this case, obviously this one didn't. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, if I do a photo like I did in the first slide here, if I do something like this, it's obviously gonna have a different message. The message is gonna be at the top, never cover your face, never cover your body. So uh, try your best to make sure that it fits in. Don't cover any sort of skin. Ideation, so thinking of ideas for your posts, for your photos, don't overcomplicate it. Like I said, this is a real photo that I posted right here. Just a photo of me in the mirror, flexing my bicep, you know, looking big as always. I uh, got a huge forearm, got a huge bicep, so might as well flex it, right? So I uh, wanted to post this photo just uh, on here just to simply show you that it doesn't have to be overcomplicated. This is a full story post. I think I wrote one or two lines of text. I don't even remember. Easiest thing to do is start documenting what you do, right? Take photos, make it a habit, take photos on a daily basis. Even if they just end up in your camera roll, it does not matter, take photos. Use experiences and then try to tell those experiences in a more compelling way. So the story formula, this is what you're all here for. This is what to actually post, right? 
We have the why to post, we have the how to post. Now let's talk about what to post, right? This is gonna be, there's five types of posts that I like to use. So that's gonna be our knowledge slash tweet posts, our talking head posts, our lifestyle posts, results posts, and promotion posts, right? So uh, all these things are gonna be here. Here's kind of the percentages of how I like to do things. So I like to do about 30 to 40% knowledge. I do a little bit less talking head than this now. I used to do a little bit more, but 30% talking head uh, should be around even with the knowledge posts. Lifestyle footage is great. Post that a good bit as well. So usually 25%. So as you can see, uh, we have a lot more value value here than what we're actually taking. So it's 85% value. Uh, and then the other two are going to be promos and posts, right? So uh, we want to make sure that we're providing more value than what we're taking. So this is going to be an example of a knowledge slash tweet post. Uh, this is kind of what we were looking at earlier, but this is just something where I'm going to throw up some sauce on the screen. Uh, the goal is to provide that value to the audience through the lifestyle clips, you know, lower the exposure a little bit, make a nice aesthetic looking photo, but also provide some value, help somebody out and give some sauce. The talking heads literally just going to be like this video where I'm just sitting here talking to the camera, uh, going to hold up my phone, be like, yo, what's going on? Da da da. Uh, if you're still lacking in XYZ, do this, right? I'm gonna be giving some practical advice, uh, speaking on screen, and it'll also help you with your camera presence, right? People like to see the authenticity. People like to see you mess up and stuff on your story. Take the video, what I always recommend is take the video, post it no matter what. If you mess up, just say sorry, you know, or just keep moving on. Try to learn how to use this stuff without filler words, right? So uh, practice makes perfect. Lifestyle footage. So as you can see over here, I have a huge library of lifestyle footage. I have everyday moments that I can create and use for usable moments on content. Uh, so I recommend you use a tripod. You can buy them for like literally like five bucks on Amazon. Uh, they're really cheap. I recommend getting a nice one. You can get them for 20, 30 bucks. They're gonna be really high quality. Tripods are key. Uh, just some take some photos throughout your day. I'm gonna take video of here. You know, I might be working, I might be recording. I might take a video of that. Uh, I might take a video of just me outside, whatever I'm doing. Uh, just make sure that those videos align with your personal brand and you'll be good to go. Lifestyle footage continues. So here's some things, some examples of things that you can take footage of. Uh, as you can see in the background of this, you can see that there is uh, a, just a screenshot of my Google Drive, right? I have hundreds of videos in here that I've just preloaded in here that are just videos of me doing these things. So uh, eating food, typing on a computer, or working, those are gonna be great. Sitting inside of a car, getting out of a, getting out of a car, panoramic of the car, those kind of things are good as well. Driving a car, if you got somebody that's you know sitting in the passenger seat and can film you driving, right? That's gonna be great as well. Taking a meeting uh, or talking in meetings, something like this where I'm recording these work well, very, or very well as well. Um, so getting like a side angle of you filming, something like that, dogs, pets, those kind of things. If you're out walking a dog, uh, things you do on a daily basis really is the big idea here. Things that fit your brand. So going to the gym, going looking at just scenery, like I'll post some stuff where I'm just like, I had one this morning where I was standing here at this window, uh, I took a video of it and then just pan back over here. That's literally a whole piece of lifestyle footage that I can use in a video. I would recommend you get some vertical, some landscape. So a little bit of both is gonna help you out a ton. Uh, and if you are filming, like a, a little trick is if you are filming uh, horizontal, try to make sure you fit in the, the center of the screen so that it can be used vertical or horizontal. If you film on 4K, it won't be an issue. Yeah, the easiest way to capture it is just use a tripod, like I said, get the best shots possible. Um, when I started, you know, recording this kind of stuff, I realized how recording, uh, how easy recording actually is. Uh, you shouldn't be trying to think of what to record, just go about your daily business, record it. Uh, what helps a ton for me was doing like day in the life videos. So I did a few videos where I just talked all the way through my day, uh, took footage throughout the day. And as I did that, I learned, uh, you know, what shots work, what shots don't work. And I got a ton of footage loaded up. So I just try to do that about once a week, just take a full day, record it, do like almost like a day in the life video and just get as much footage as possible. It helps out a ton. Next up, we have our result stories. So here's a photo of Adley. She is a large creator. If you've ever seen those stupid Facebook videos. Uh, where somebody's like gluing a table to the ceiling or something. You have no clue what happens. There's never really any point to the video. That's her. I uh, got to meet her a few days ago at the attention summit. So I uh, just figured I'd pop her stuff up here. But uh, this is like a result story that she recently posted. She's talking about like 783 million minutes viewed this year or in the past seven days, sorry. So she's getting a ton of engagement. This is an example of what you might post for results. This is different from a CTA. This is not a sales page, right? This is not gonna be something for selling. This is gonna be for testimonials. And I'll get into how to use this for selling 
selling in just a minute, but you want to throw this up that just has some, you know, results that you've gotten, whether that's we've gained this many followers or we've gotten this much money collected, right? What result are you providing? Especially if you're doing this for something in business, super important that you throw up results. If you're doing a coaching offer, right? Say you do fitness coaching, you might throw up a photo of you uh, and you before and you after, or a client before and after, right? Having those testimonials, having those results is going to be super key when it comes to actually selling stuff. So you don't want to just throw up a ton of sales stuff. Make sure that sometimes when you throw up results stuff, you don't even mention, uh, you know, like a swipe up or a CTA or anything like that. Uh, CTAs are going to be the next thing. They are super huge. Uh, so these should be a very minuscule percentage of how much you actually do. This is one of my clients over here uh, talking about, you know, one of his CTAs and a bit of an example. But he basically said, if you want to make money like this on social media, join the free discord, right? This is a CTA. This is a one page CTA. There's two types of CTAs. There's one page and two page CTAs, right? So on a one page CTA, it's going to look just like this one over here. It's going to say, you know, if you want to make money, swipe up, or if you want to do X, Y, Z, join X, Y, Z, right? This is going to be a, a very clear testimonial. You're going to have a result on the screen. The two page testimonial is going to be two pages. Duh. Uh, so the first page is going to be our testimonial. It's going to literally be like a result story and then backed up by a CTA, uh, which is going to look similar to this. So you might have a result story that shows, hey, we added 10K a month to this business. And then the second story would be like, well, you want us to do the same, we can do it here. Uh, this is gonna be very important. You wanna make sure that in order to do these CTAs, you need to have the other stuff too. Meaning you need to be posting consistently on your story. This is gonna be really key. Because if every time someone opens your story, the only thing that's on there is a CTA, your viewership is going to drop drastically. So super important that you're using this. The main thing that if you're doing any sort of high ticket program, coaching, anything like that, super important that you uh, have swipe ups, right? That's going to be like swipe up with the word money and we'll send you X, Y, Z, right? If you're automating, use ManyChat. If you are not automating, right? If you are uh, gonna have some sort of setter to do it, do not use ManyChat. Use um, just internally, just respond to people. If you're gonna try to close them on a high ticket. If it's like a lead magnet, that's when it's okay to use ManyChat. But if you are just uh, trying to kind of grow um, an organic group of people who are gonna invest in a high ticket program, you don't wanna use ManyChat. So this is kind of the basics of uh, stories.